At the Delegate Assembly in 2017, Mennonite Church USA will consider the Seeking Peace and Israel and Palestine Resolution. The resolution has two major sections. The first calls on the church to oppose military occupation and seek a just peace. The second calls on the church to oppose anti-Semitism and seek right relationship with Jewish communities. The resolution recognizes the long history Mennonites have had in Israel-Palestine. Mennonites have been present in Israel and Palestine since 1949 as a response to the Arab-Israeli war and the humanitarian crisis caused by the hundreds of thousands of refugees displaced from the war uh, in Palestine. Many Mennonites have traveled to Israel-Palestine and have been affected by what they have seen, especially what they saw in the occupied Palestinian territories. Mennonites of color tend to connect deeply with the injustices felt by Palestinians. Seeing the, the, the camps, the, the, the refugee camps, that, that, that changes the game. Uh, looking at from a distance also uh, the settlements, you're like, uh, what in the world is going on right here? Uh, or seeing all, all the houses being bulldozered, the ground, and then even those families being charged for it. In Hebron, for me, I felt like I had stepped back into 1940s Georgia here in America. The oppression and the, the feeling of oppression was so thick. So as, as South Africans, um, it was deeply disturbing to us that this is exactly uh, what we experienced in the apartheid system. Some of the connections between indigenous struggles and Palestine, I think, revolve around the uh, process of colonization and how religion is used to justify colonization. The resolution also recognizes the ways our history and tradition as Mennonites, as Christians, and as U.S. citizens have contributed to anti-Semitism. Christianity does have a history, particularly Western Christianity, in not valuing both Jews and Muslims for who they are as beloved children of God. So I think that there's a kind of an anti-Semitism at work when we start as Mennonites trying to strip away um, what we would, what some people would call cultural baggage. It's, it's very much indebted to uh, um, uh, Adolf von Harnack, a German uh, biblical scholar, theologian, who thought that the task of reading the Bible for Christians was to find out the kernel uh, under the husk of Jewish identity. Now, what it meant to be a Christian is to strip away all the Jewish markings and find this universal truth at the heart of the gospel so that Jesus was stripped away at the end of the day of his Jewish identity. I think uh, that Palestinians today uh, are suffering the failure of uh, many of the uh, Western nations who uh, inflicted or allowed to be inflicted upon the Jews uh, such a great uh, tragedy. The resolution calls us to challenge theologies that cause harms to Palestinians and Jews, including Christian Zionism. Is modern Israel the, the, the state that the Bible was speaking to? Uh, from a theological perspective, uh, certainly not. I mean, it's, it's, modern Israel is not that state that Christ, that, that the Bible is making reference to. Christian Zionism is really at its root anti-Semitic. And it doesn't take into account the beautiful tradition that Judaism is in and of itself, not only Jews in a certain place for the salvation history of Christians. The resolution calls us to partner with Palestinian and Israeli peacemakers and advocate with our governments. We in the United States have this idea of peace and a solution that we need to go impose upon them. In a lot of ways, they're already organizing for peace and need support, need us to walk alongside them um, and be with them in ways that they find helpful. They say, uh, we don't want your money. We don't we want food. The way you can help is actually promoting this uh, as in peace and justice. I came back wanting to make sure my family, my people, my connections understood that there's some really bad stuff 
happening right now and that we should be paying attention because the government does it in our name. And so it looks like we're in collusion with all this. The resolution calls men's rights to avoid economic support for the occupation. This has similarities too, but is not an endorsement of the boycott, divestment, and sanction movement, BDS. People who are and aren't supportive of BDS appreciate this resolution. I think it's important that we acknowledge that uh, as a Christian body, as a church, that we don't condemn or condone BDS. But I think every, every Mennonite, every Christian should have a personal conviction about how they support uh, with, their with their finances, with their influence, uh, with their life and their lifestyle. Well, I, 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 think, I think BDS is a very, very exciting and creative uh, movement for Mennonites. Yeah, precisely because it is nonviolent. So as, as a person who feels very strongly uh, about BDS, I still support this resolution even though it doesn't openly endorse BDS as a movement. The resolution calls us to respond to the harms of anti-Semitism by committing to examine the legacy of anti-Semitism and build stronger relationships with Jewish communities. We as Mennonites remember our, our immigrant stories that this ties us to a, a Jewish understanding of existence in the world. Um, that we've learned from Jews and can continue to learn from Jews about how to be God's people anywhere, in exile, wherever we find ourselves. And so I attend Friday night services, Saturday morning Torah teachings. And really, from my faith, everything I'm learning there helps me understand Jesus so much more. Jesus as a Jewish rabbi. Jesus as someone who was with, working within his tradition to try to bring out wholeness. Finally. The resolution reminds us to take up the biblical call to pray and work for peace and justice. Ephesians 2.14, it says, For he, Jesus himself, is our peace, who has made the two groups one and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility. Uh, there is a better way, and that's what we as Mennonites are all about, a better way. <laughs> and, the, and the better way is not violence. The better way is not you win, I lose, I win, you lose. Getting alone and loving and forgiving those that are actually are sinning against you, that, that's reality. It's not just a, a lecture from my office or from a uh, classroom. As people of faith uh, in Christ, um, mm -hmm. we can't only talk about peace absent of tearing down walls that will not allow right relationships to happen. So join us. Join us. Join us as we work for peace with justice in Israel and Palestine. Únete a nosotros mientras continuamos en la búsqueda de la paz y la justicia en Israel y Palestina. Join us as we pray for peace with justice in Israel and Palestine.